Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media. In this video, we're going to be reviewing and taking a look at the Armor A60 Gaming Case. This is made by Thermal Take, and it is a mid-tower case with one of its most famous features, Side Click Easy Swap. So let's go ahead and get into this review. Now the Armor A60 is definitely a gaming case. This is a mid-tower case. This is also the world's first case with side click easy swap allowing you to swap drives with just a click and without ever opening the case so let's go ahead and unbox this Starting at the top of the case, you can see we have three five and a quarter inch drive bays. These are all with a removable cover included with a fabric filling them that prevents any dust from coming in. And right below it is a three and a half inch drive bay. Up here we have a USB 2.0 slot, a headphone jack, microphone jack, and this blue USB is actually USB 3.0. This is one of the first uh, news cases with USB 3.0 built in. Here are two LED indicator lights, a power one and a hard drive activity. Here's an eSATA port and this is the unique power button. It almost looks like it was broken but this is actually the really unique design of it. It's triangle and it's indented in. You just like that and that turns it on and then you got the reset button right there. At the base of the case we have lots of nice design going on here with all the mesh indents and shapes. I really like the design of the front panel. You also have the thermal take logo. Now all this breathing room here is actually because there is a included fan behind this and you can also install extra fans which we are going to get to. The front panel is also really easily removable. Just pull from the bottom and top and it's off like that. Now most removable panels can be really annoying to take on and off, but these were a lot easier to remove. Instead of being a latch that hooks on, it's just pressure squeezing it, so it just slips in and out super easily, I noticed. You'll also notice this has a removable dust filter at the bottom. This is for the fans that are included. We're about to get to that. And these are the drive bay covers at the top. These are removable from the interior. You just squeeze the two levers on each side, and they come off like that, and you can put them right back on. That works for all four of the drive bays. So this is the front panel on the inside. Thermal Take includes a clear 120mm fan, and right above that is room to install a second 120mm fan. Or you can take out this fan and install one 200mm fan because there is screw slots on the side to fit two 120mm fans or one 200mm fan. Right here are the hard drive bays from the inside that you access them through the side panel. And right above that are the three five and a quarter inch hard drive or five and a quarter inch drive bays here. You can remove these completely toolless in design. To start off the top panel, Thermal Take included some really nice designs here. To the left of that is a fan opening to install a optional 120 millimeter fan. And to the left of that, at the very end of the top panel, is a included 200 millimeter blue LED light up fan. Just like the front panel is a blue LED fan, this is also, this is an exhaust fan. You'll also notice there are four screw holes which are closer together. This is because you can remove this 200 millimeter fan and instead install a 120 millimeter fan. So you have room to install a total of two fans and options on this one to install two different sizes. Here is the back panel of the case. Starting at the top, you can see there are two grommet holes. You can use this for water cooling tubes or cables, which they have done. It comes with the USB 3.0 cable strung through this. But if you want to reserve the top two grommet holes for cables, there's also two holes at the bottom that are optional. You can punch the covers off and use these for your water cooling tubes. A 120 millimeter fan is included and installed on the back. Here is where your motherboard's I.O. shield will be installed. Right here is the mouse and security lock, which is right now occupied by a USB cord, but you can still fit the other cords through it or remove this USB cord. This is accessible from the inside with a thumb screw. You'll also notice there are two thumb screws on each side panel. These need to be removed in order to remove the two side panels. Right down here are seven expansion slots that are ventilated. You can remove these and also put them back on. And right here is some extra ventilation. This is obviously where your power supply unit is going to be. There is also an optional security loop on the left side panel so you can lock this to prevent anyone getting into it. Now this is the left side panel where some of the best features are. You'll see the nice side panel window here. Right here is the area to install the optional 120mm fan and there's some extra venting below it. 
This right here is the side click easy swap slot, so you can swap hard drives externally without ever removing the side panel, which we are about to get to. So let's go ahead and remove the side panel. The top three drive bays are all a toolless design. Just squeeze this, pops out, squeeze it again, and it locks right back in. The only drive bay that is not a toolless design is the three and a half inch drive bay right here in the middle, but the other six hard drive bays up under it are all a toolless design, even easier to remove. You just squeeze the finger holes and it pops right out like that, and you can squeeze it right back in. You'll notice this is room for a two and a half inch drive or three and a half inch drive. Now this drive bay right here, or hard drive bay right here, is actually the side click easy swap drive bay. So I'm going to show you how this works. So you put on the panel. Then you just take the hard drive, if you have your hard drive right here, and you're going to push it through here, and voila, that's it. And then when you want to remove it, just squeeze it, and pull it right back out. So that's the side click, easy swap. On the back of the inside of the case, you can see we have a 120 millimeter included exhaust fan. This right here is just some extra mesh venting for breathing room. And these are seven expansion slots. All the covers for these are easily removable and replaceable. This is where your PSU system is going to sit, right here is the opening for it. Now you'll notice this metal panel where the back of it is going to rest on. This is actually removable from the bottom and you can see these slots, you can extend it all the way back to here depending on the size of your PSU. Now if your PSU is not big, that big, then you have room to install an optional 120mm fan right here as long as your PSU is not overlapping this vent. Now this is the base of the case. You'll notice there are four good sized rubber feet. Right here is an opening for an optional 120mm fan, and this is the opening for your PSU with a removable dust filter. Here is the right side panel of the case. Not much going on here because as with most cases, this is primarily reserved for cable management. So we can go ahead and take off the door. You'll notice it has a good amount of room considering you can fit this thick 3.0 USB cord through it. So that wraps up the review of the Thermaltake Armor A60 Mid-Tower Gaming Case. Thermaltake is an excellent brand with whatever they make from computer cases to cooling components. The Armor A60 Mid-Tower Case here that we just reviewed is definitely one of my favorite Mid-Tower cases. The appeal and design, ama amazing stylish looks, it's bold looking. The venting is amazing, there are vents everywhere, the top, left, back, diagonal, vertical, you get the point. They have an awesome left side panel features as far as the nice little preview window also. So make sure to check out all the links in the video description below for more. And thank you for watching.